Ford Kuga's second generation can now only be found on the secondary market. Is it worth buying? We meticulously look at the reliability of the main components and assemblies. The second generation Ford Kuga is based on the successful Global C platform on which models such as the third generation Focus and the Volvo B40 are built. A crossover for our market was produced at a plant in Yellabuga. The second Kuga developed the success of its predecessor and took a good position in the market, including the secondary one. Pre-reform cars had a wide range of modifications, including diesel versions. Ford, like most other manufacturers, had to tighten it noticeably. It is a pity that Ford has decided to leave our market. After all, Kuga could remain a strong player for a long time and a good alternative to other classmate crossovers, be it the new car market or the secondary market. In restyling cars, the trim above the license plate rubs the trunk lid down to the metal in the corners, causing corrosion. When repainting, it is necessary to stick an armoring film at the points of contact of the parts. Restyling does not always go smoothly and sometimes brings new sores with it. On the updated Cugs, the lights can rub the far corners in the wings, as well as touch the trunk lid, crack and fog up. To fix, a technical bulletin has been issued requiring the installation of an additional gasket under the lights to adjust the gaps. Engine and AC radiators get clogged with dirt fairly quickly, as they do on most Ford models. It is advisable to flush heat exchangers every 50,000 to 60,000 kilometers. This is especially important for modifications with heat-loaded EcoBoost 1.5 and 1.6 motors. But it is on them that the bumper mounts are as inconvenient as possible, so dismantling operations require a lot of time and patience. On the restyled Cugs of the first years of production, a large electrical connector is actively rotting on the left side of the front bumper in front of the fender liner. As a result, the parking sensors, front fog lights and the outside air temperature sensor cease to work adequately, due to which various violations occur in the air conditioning control system. The manufacturer has issued a technical bulletin for specific wiring repairs. In Ford tradition, the engine control unit is located on the front left fender liner. Therefore, it is highly likely that in the event of an accident, not only the module will suffer, but also the connector on the expensive wiring harness. Sometimes on the pre-reform cugs, the rubber seal on the jabot wipes the hood. Because of this, dealers have to repaint the part from the inside. During restyling, the manufacturer pasted the armored film on the hood at the point of contact with the seal. For cars manufactured between March 2013 and December 2015, there is a recall campaign that cuts the thermal insulation, reduces its length, on the inside of the B-pillar skins. There is a risk that when the igniters built into the seat belt reels are triggered, the felt, which is initially located very close to the knots, will ignite. Cugs for our market were assembled exclusively at the Yellow Booga plant. There are no serious complaints about the paintwork and the level of anti-corrosion protection. Supercharged gasoline engines EcoBoost 1.5 and 1.6 are based on the successful and time-tested Duratec 1.6 TBCT aspirated. Their different power depends only on the software. Engines are not as reliable and unpretentious as their progenitor. At the same time, EcoBoost 1.6, which was available only for the pre-reform Cug, is much more capricious than its successor 1.5, which settled under the hood of restyled cars. Supercharged motors are characterized by high heat load and are extremely sensitive to overheating. This was the reason for the recall campaign for the 1.6 engine. It covered machines produced from May 2012 to December 2014. There is a risk of local overheating of the cylinder head with the formation of cracks through which oil can break through into the engine compartment and ignite. One of the Moscow dealers is familiar with such a burnt man. As part of the recall campaign, the MCC is inspected and the engine cooling system is modernized, a new expansion tank with an antifreeze level sensor, including the sensor switching unit, a wiring harness, pipes are installed, the engine control module and instrument panel are reflashed, and the thermostat is also changed on certain cars. In many 1.6 engines, the cylinder block suffered due to overheating, antifreeze got into them, and cracks appeared in the head around the valve seats. An antifreeze level sensor is necessary since during the initial stage of overheating, the 1.6 engine first of all drops the coolant level. The sensor transmits the corresponding signal to the brains of the motor, and it goes into emergency mode, which excludes a further increase in temperature. In our market, such a cooling system kit was installed only as part of a recall campaign. He never appeared even on the later, pre-reform, Cugs with this engine. 
and on cars for the American market, this kit was standard equipment. EcoBoost 1.6 has another flaw. On modifications with the machine gun, one of the motor wiring harnesses rubs against the box body over time, causing a variety of malfunctions, depending on which wires are damaged. EcoBoost 1.5, which appeared later, no longer had serious cooling problems, but did not get rid of other design miscalculations common to the entire family. Both EcoBoost engines have direct injection, so they are very sensitive to fuel quality. And the manufacturer further weakened the already weak point, allowing the 90 second to be filled in. Therefore, clogging of nozzles on short runs, which provokes the appearance of an error signaling a lean mixture, has long been common for these engines. And only in recent years there have been significantly fewer complaints of such malfunctions. Direct injection engines are also prone to the rapid growth of valve deposits. To clean them without removing the head of the block, expensive equipment is needed. By inheritance, a typical malfunction of aspirated engines passed to supercharged engines, a leak in the coolant pump. And with turbines, they are doing relatively well. The Duratorque 2.0 diesel engine is a development of the PSA concern. Compared to competitors, it has a good reputation, except that attachments can be annoying. This diesel engine came to Kuga in modifications for Euro 5. It has different fuel equipment than, for example, the fourth generation Mondeo. It is extremely sensitive to fuel quality. The most common ailment is the rapid clogging of fuel injectors, which can occur after 50,000 kilometers. It pretends to be difficult to start a cold engine in its uneven operation until it is fully warmed up. This modification of the diesel engine was also distinguished by a common leak of the rear crankshaft oil seal, which is quite difficult to overcome. Experienced servicemen even advise turning a blind eye to the problem, because, as a rule, it all comes down to a slight leak that does not threaten serious consequences. Another feature of the engine is the melting of the fuel filter cap equipped with the heater. A similar situation is typical for cars of French models equipped with this diesel engine. The repair kit includes a new cover and connector, which is also subject to melting. The defect is not tied to a specific mileage and age of the car. Often during the warranty period, the repair kit had to be changed twice. The 2.5 atmospheric gasoline engine is built on the basis of units of the elderly Duratechi family and has retained almost all of their features. The engines belonging to this series with a volume of 1.8 to 2.5 liters are well known from Ford, Mazda, L-Series engines, and Volvo models of previous generations and have established themselves as strong middle peasants in the class. The engine is reliable and has no serious weaknesses, perfectly digests 90-second gasoline and is not prone to noticeable oil consumption, like its predecessors. Since the appearance of the motor, the manufacturer has released several new versions of its software, which were designed to correct the shortcomings of the pre-reformed cars of the first years of production, for example, increased gas mileage and a short life of oxygen sensors. Possible engine ailments, leakage of the pan, as well as valve and front covers, throttle sticking, which is treated only by replacing the assembly with a modified one, the defect does not occur only on Kugs of recent years of production. All motors available for Kuga have a lower support for a short time, less than 100,000 km. The six-speed automatic with the Index 6 F35 is a joint development of Ford and GM. It is similar to the very capricious boxes of the 6T30-6T40 family, which were installed on many Opel and Chevrolet models. However, unlike their colleagues, Fords managed to eradicate the most serious shortcomings of their unit even before it was put into mass production. The result is a reliable box that does not suffer from such problems as a short resource of the valve body and solenoids or the destruction of the retaining rings of the drums, which is fraught with costly repairs. But still not without an unfortunate miscalculation. On the pre-styling Cugs, the 6F35 version is installed, in which the torque converter lockup clutches are very actively erased. Their wear products get into the oil and are carried throughout the hydraulic system, clogging the hydraulic unit and its valves. This results in an excessive drop or increase in fluid pressure. And already on short runs, a whole bunch of malfunctions arise, shock gear shifts with delays, solenoids failures, combustion of clutch packs. The manufacturer did not acknowledge the miscalculation and issued technical bulletins instructing dealers to limit themselves to minimal movements during the warranty period only to somehow revive the box. Ford has redesigned the software and upgraded the torque converter. This modified version went to Kuga only when restyling. As a result, the disease was minimized, however, 
in order to extend the life of the unit, it is advisable to update the oil in it at least once every 45,000 kilometers. Version 6F35, designed for a 2.5 gasoline engine, was distinguished by a leak in the left drive oil seal. This disadvantage is more typical for pre-reformed machines. It is very important to update the guide sleeve along with the cuff. The power shift wet clutch robot is available only for pre-reform cars with diesel engines. The clutch resource exceeds 100,000 kilometers, and the mechanical part suffers mostly from those who like to drive. Wet power shift proved to be no worse than similar DSG boxes. Robots of this type have a common oil circuit, and the products of the inevitable wear of the clutch are carried throughout the hydraulic system. Therefore, the oil in the box should be changed at least every 45,000 kilometers. Otherwise, the service life of the expensive mechatronic unit and its solenoids will be sharply reduced. The breakdown is preceded by the appearance of errors on the position sensor of the gear shift forks, individual valves, and the inability to use a certain stage. Critical clutch wear manifests itself by jerking the car at start. In this case, oscillations occur in the box, which lead to increased wear and leakage of the oil seal located behind the clutch block. Changing it is extremely inconvenient and expensive. There are non-original repair kits on the market, including an oil seal and plastic bushings that level the play of the cuff hub, significantly extending the life of the new seal. Power shift boxes appeared on the market later than DSGs, so things are worse with their repairs. It is difficult to find experienced specialists, some spare parts. Yes, and the price tag bites. Manual transmissions are reliable. Basically, they can only bother with leakage of drive seals. This is a common problem with all boxes on many Ford models. When replacing cuffs, it is very important to carefully select their size according to the VIN of the car. There is a clear applicability of oil seals for units of specific models and periods of their production. The box with the WB index, which is paired only with the supercharged 1.6 petrol engine on pre-reform cars, was awarded a recall campaign that affected a limited number of cars. Under certain circumstances, overheating and slipping of the clutch can occur. The manufacturer has prepared a new engine firmware and a modified clutch kit. The electric steering rack with built-in power elements is similar in design and malfunctions to that installed on the third-generation Focus. It is also characterized by unpleasant knocks that appear already at relatively short runs. This is an inherent feature of the node, which is almost impossible to defeat. Profile services undertake repairs, but the enumerated nodes still do not go for a long time. The only plus for Kuga owners is that thanks to good sound insulation, knocks do not bother as much as on focuses. Like the focus, the tie rod anthers of the rack are too hard, with an unsuccessful bend. When turning the wheels, they touch the hinges, with a characteristic click, and therefore wear out quickly. The converter and oxygen sensors on pre-reform cars are sensitive to fuel quality. Bad gasoline causes a white coating to appear on the measuring part of the lambda probes and the eco-filter combs. In some cases, even local melting of the neutralizer filler occurred. Usually, errors appear in this case, signaling a low filter efficiency and a slow response of oxygen sensors. Front and rear shock absorbers require replacement extremely rarely, they take care of at least 100,000 kilometers with a large margin. A very common phenomenon is the leakage of the seals of the angular gearbox at the junction with the gearbox, as well as in the area of the output of the front right wheel drive. The first problem is well known to owners of Mazda CX-7 cars with a similar design of this unit. Most often, traces of oil leakage become noticeable after a run of 75,000 kilometers. Despite the decent size and weight of the car, the stabilizer bushings and struts have a decent resource. They rarely change. By about 100,000 kilometers, the rear silent blocks of the front levers are destroyed. Original for Kuga are available only assembled with levers. The short life of the front shock absorber support bearings is a common problem in many Ford models. The nodes were upgraded, but the problem remained. Their demise is heralded by a characteristic noise heard even in the cabin, a crunch when the steering wheel is turned when the car is stationary. As in the Focus. By about 100,000 kilometers in the rear suspension all silent blocks are surrendered and the lever mounts turn sour. And the manufacturer recently issued a service bulletin that prohibits dealers from changing silent blocks with shallow, less than 1 centimeter, gaps under warranty, only frankly tired elements, and then only after agreement. If the all-wheel drive clutch starts to shock connect the rear axle, most likely, expensive work is ahead with the replacement of the repair kit. 
package of plates and clutches, which comes as an assembly. Shock engagement of the clutch manifests itself mainly when starting the car with the wheels turned out. However, no errors appear on the dashboard. Rattling from the speaker when the radio is turned on is not a reason to replace it. In most cases, flashing the head unit helps. Do not confuse this operation with updating the SYNC system, which still causes complaints from the owners. By modern standards, the wear resistance of Kuga's interior elements is decent. The facts of too fast mashing of individual parts, for example the steering wheel, were not recorded. For Kuga, there is a recall campaign for the replacement of defective Takata airbags, which has affected most automakers. This applies to vehicles manufactured between September 2016 and June 2017. As part of the campaign, the front passenger's knee and side airbags are being replaced. Over time, the foam base of the front seat cushions rubs against the springs, brakes, and sags. During repair, a modified element with a polyurethane substrate is installed, which excludes mechanical interaction with the frame springs. Due to the risk of spontaneous blocking of the steering shaft on the go, incorrect operation of the ignition switch, pre-styling Kugi with a 2.5 gasoline engine, produced from October 2013 to December 2015, fell under the recall. Repair involves flashing the engine control unit. On the vast majority of machines, this was done before being handed over to customers. According to representatives of one of the dealer centers, their customers have not recorded a single case of blocking the shaft. Kuga sells well in the secondary market. Almost all modifications are sold out. This crossover belongs to a group of cars, the liquidity of which depends primarily on the level of equipment. Instances in rich trim levels find a buyer much faster. Some time ago, the versions with supercharged gasoline engines were the most popular. And best of all, the Force variants with a capacity of 184 horsepower diverged. But now buyers prefer modifications with a naturally aspirated 2.5 engine. 